Friends, it's running kimono. I know a lot of you love these Saturday story times. So we're going to talk about a story time. And this isn't a great one. Um, so uh, I'm not going to say the store. I'm just going to talk about the story and kind of like, I don't want this person to really get like in trouble. Um, you know who you are if you did this. This coupon I've never seen before. Um, but it's in my hand. How did it get in my hand? So I was in a store that I've been frequenting in and out uh, a lot this week and just doing little deals here and there. Um, but I haven't been posting it on my YouTube because it's a very specific store. And the manager at the store, who's quite friendly, um, saw me in there and he's like, can I have a word with you? Very stern fashion that he said that. And I'm like, oh gosh, um, I do digital coupon deals why does he need to have a word with me? Because I'm in pretty good with all the staff. Like, what did I do? That's initially what I was thinking in my brain. Like, I was thinking, like, I'm in trouble. And um, so he's like, hey, just wait a minute. I'll be right back. So, like, I'm waiting in an aisle just for the manager. And I'm like, it's the worst, you know? Like, sometimes you're told part of something, but you're not told the whole thing. And his tone was not so great. And then he presents me this coupon, and it's in my hand. And he says, uh, what do you see here? And I'm like, what is he doing exactly? Because, uh, this isn't my coupon. I did not bring it into the store. I do not know what it is. Like, okay, stop. Like, this is just strange. And he's like, what do you see? What do you see? And he just said this rhetorical pattern. And I'm like, okay, I don't really appreciate this thinking that in my mind, but I'm like, look, I, I don't know. I wear bifocals, so fine print is kind of hard for me sometimes. And I'm like, I have no idea. And then he says, why don't you turn it around? And then it hits me. He highlighted this. Offer valid in Canada only. Boom. But this is, in fact, a coupon that you can only use in Canada. So to use it in a store in the U.S., if a cashier will, like, you know, bad vision or just key it in or whatever, um, get the store in a lot of trouble because they will not get reimbursed for this. And it's a very funny looking coupon. Like if you even look at the barcode below. So he was just pissed off about it and he just wanted to just, you know, talk to me about it. And I, I just said, wow, that's crazy. And I said, you know, digital coupons is the way to go. And that's typically what I do. And like, I wasn't in trouble, but initially just his, his shortness, I thought, oh, I'm in trouble. But I mean, just immediately you would think that. So anyhow, this person, the next time they're in the store, and if this manager's around, she's probably going to get an earful um, because that's not going to be, you know, if he's there or somebody who's really reading the coupons, uh, this will not be able to get past. It wasn't one little innocent coupon uh, the shopper had. She had a bunch that she used. So like, it's not good. Uh, so just to let you guys know, uh, in the future, if you ever come across internet printables, because I know a lot of you will not be like, you know, at a shoppers drug mart looking for tear pad coupons most of us won't be up there but if you ever are you know in Canada and you find a coupon never use it in the United States it could fall back on you badly um in the future or you can get in trouble at the store because valid only in Canada and they take that pretty seriously um also with internet printables um I know that uh Canada for example they have a png site where you can print uh, png.ca it was a couple years back and they always had higher value like detergent coupons and this and that. But in the fine print, it's also print only in Canada. And if you have a, a funny barcode like this one, because typically coupons in Canada, um, a cashier or somebody has to come over and key everything in. They just don't scan stuff. Somebody physically has to look at it. Nothing scans at the till. Um, so just be very mindful of that, that sometimes if somebody sends you a link for very high value coupons, don't participate in that. Don't print the coupon, especially if it says offer valid in Canada only, because you will have a ton of problems with it at the store. So yeah, this just brought me back. I haven't talked about this subject in years and it just typical me that, you know, somebody's like, can I have a word with you? And I think I'm like right away going to the principal's office and I'm in a ton of trouble, but it really wasn't that. And, and this is not my coupon. This is not my thing. Um, he was just sharing this with me because he knows I like to save money in the store and, you know, coupon, that sort of thing, but nothing like this. I like to keep uh, really good um, relations with the managers and the staff at the store. Pulling something like this, you can get in a lot of trouble um, because the store will not get reimbursed. Um, and certainly in the future, uh, this person, when she does show up, and if you have the confidence to use five of these, you'll definitely go back to that honey hole 
yeah, her, her number is going to be up and she's going to be in a lot of trouble and also how embarrassing. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.